from generators powered by urine to generators powered by mud. These inventors show us that power comes from the wildest of places. And while some ideas might seem hilarious, they get us thinking, could this actually work? So hold on to your sockets, because this is the ultimate roundup of African-made generators. Now, you've heard of gas-powered and even solar-powered generators. But the real surprise here is the P-Power by some schoolgirls. Imagine walking into a room and someone says, hold on, I'll grab some fuel. Next thing you know, they're not reaching for their diesel, but instead collecting some urine for their generator. The hydrogen is then purified, dried and pushed into the generator. It can produce up to six hours of electricity per litre of human waste. Regardless, it's the ultimate move in eco-friendly recycling and apparently the only generator that might need a bathroom break to keep the lights on. If you notice the rocket is powered by hydrogen gas. So why can't hydrogen gas power a generator? That made us to look into various materials. We looked at water, but the amount of voltage it takes to break water is larger than the amount it takes to break our urine. We decided to use urine solution. And since it's a waste material, Nigerians will opt for urine solution. So let's give it to these girls for truly redefining going green in one of the weirdest ways. Nelson, a Nigerian inventor with a vision and a pile of spare parts, is the mastermind behind this portable water powered generator. It's pollution free, eco friendly, and dare I say, looks like it's held together by pure determination. That's a gas cylinder. It's a gas cylinder that I, I turned into most, even the turbine, everything is inside here. The turbine is in there. It's in, it's oh, in here. Great. Well, it works just long enough to make you think hey, this could be something. The reality is, it's just unpredictable as the weather. Then here we have the water. This replaces the water tank. Then we have your pump. I just believe inside me that this is possible. I can get it done. I'm almost there. Africans are blessed with the talent everywhere you look, except in leadership and in building planes. So they, that was how it has kept me going. And each day I just see those generators that stay there. So I, wanted, I just wanted an answer. I needed to do something. Let's just say, Nelson's generator may not be winning awards, but it's a solid 5 out of 10. While well, the rest of us were learning that energy can't be created, this woman took one look at a pile of mud and said, challenge accepted. Yes, she's got a whole setup pulling electricity out of mud, like it's hiding a miniature power plant. It's a sight to see, a humble setup of wires and muddy yak, yet somehow phones are charging. You can practically hear her laughing at the science books while proving that in her world, even the earth below has a charge to it. She's an earthbender and she doesn't know about it. So I'ma give her a B plus. She totally deserves it. But the main question is, where do these people end up? Is it because their ingenuity is about to destroy the slave control mechanism in the electricity industry? Our next guy was likely told by his teachers that he will never make it in life. So he took it personal, dropped out of school, and decided to donate his former school some electricity. Now that's badass, and I hope someday he can scale it up to neighboring villages. Says his generator produces 1,000 volts of electricity. He looked at the air around him and thought, this will do. A contraption that runs on nothing, but the breeze we all take for granted. Skeptics might say, sure, but for how long? And they'd be right, because the generator has about as much stamina as a deflated balloon. The telephone cables are randomly jammed into the box with no capacitors, bearing in mind that the contraption is shouting danger. But I'm not gonna fault the guy for his hassle. 
largely aims to save money villagers spend in buying torches and batteries to light their homes. One minute, it's whirring along. The next, it's running out of, well, air. But don't tell that to the inventor, who's convinced he's cracked the code for sustainable energy, assuming we all don't run out of breath fast. What type of air is he using? We don't know. What air is doing to produce the power? We don't know. And he's not saying. I hope his village's network is up to date because the firefighter could be needed at any moment. Anyways, a deal will do because you're probably a good man and I'm not mean. When most people are out here figuring out how to harness wind or solar power, our inventor skips straight to the Stone Age. Who needs fuel when you've got rocks? That's right. This guy, with not a single day of physics class, swears that his rock-powered generator is the future. Picture this, he's out of juice, and instead of looking for gas or coal, he grabs a handful of pebbles. As long as he's got rocks in hand, he's confident he's only a stone throw away from endless power. And this man should be highly protected so I'm gonna give him a solid 4 out of 10 for at least lying to us in a convincing manner. Mm. This can either be a mystery hidden for many years or a masquerade at work. Because apart from being a big fish in the oil industry, Nigeria is famously known for its unblemished scamming. But let's not paint everyone with the same brush. Like any country, Nigeria is home to incredible, honest, and hardworking people. But the scammers here, these people aren't just innocent pranksters with computers and internet connection. They are orchestrators that can devastate your finances, ruin lives, and leave you questioning your faith in humanity. Uh, positive. Their deals are always too good to be true. And so our guy here discovered that when two stones are being smitten together, they always bring out light. That if light can come out from sparking two stones, then there's more to it. These stones should never be exported out of Africa. I just want to take this generator, pick it up, and put it in the garbage. You get a D plus, but I believe in you that one day you're gonna change the world. Even though some of these inventions may not be winning any scientific awards just yet. They are a testament to survival. So the next time the lights go out, just remember, stones are available.